This week's feast. Spicy sausage curry. From Pokemon Sword and Shield. We've done tons of recipes from Pokemon before, and this one is different. And we've also done a ton of curries. We have, and this one is different. Different. It's kind of a tongue twister, actually. Like Spicy. The flavors are like sausage. twisting your tongues around. It's so good. Yeah, that's right. And Pokemon Sword and Shield just came out. It's an awesome game. They, I love when they include cooking segments and stuff into these games because it gives us tons of stuff to do and it lets you recommend more and more videos for us. So thank you for the recommendation. Yes, we love it. And we can't wait to make this delicious curry. So let's get started. There are so many different curries you can make in the new Pokemon Sword and Shield, from the crazy extravagant bitter cheese covered curry, all the way to the fusion dry pasta curry. So for today's episode, we're making one that looked the most delicious to us, sausage curry. Surprisingly enough, the actual developers of the game made a fun video of them constructing this curry, but it's a bit hard to follow along their recipe. So our video is gonna guide you through exactly what you need to recreate this Pokemon curry. Now, we've made curries in the past, and you should definitely check those videos out too. But what stood out to us about this curry is that one of the primary ingredients in the game you need to make a Charizard-class curry are berries. Normally, this type of ingredient is very foreign to curries, but we did some research into how to best combine a real-life berry into our recipe, and this is our end result. Start off by adding a little oil to a pot and cooking your sausages over medium-high heat. You want them to brown on both sides and begin to crack down the middle. Remove those and add butter to the same pot, and then your medley of chopped onions, carrots, and apples. Cook this for a few minutes before adding on your garlic, ground ginger, and an amalgam of curry spices, cinnamon, turmeric, cumin, coriander, cloves, cardamom, fennel, and some bay leaves. Stir this all together and let the spices fully coat your veggies and apple bits before adding in apple juice, diced tomatoes, raisins, and raspberries. Stir this together, bring it to a boil, and then reduce it all to a simmer. Cover it up and let it cook for an hour. This is super important. The longer it cooks, the better it's gonna taste. Now when your curry is ready, stir in coconut milk into the pot and mix it thoroughly together. All of our delicious ingredients are going to be soft and fall right apart after cooking for so long, so make sure it mixes evenly. Now let's plate. Just like in the game, the rice covers half the plate with the curry over the other half. Feel free to warm up your sausages on the stove or in the microwave before placing them across the curry, and voila! We have made a berry-themed and Pokemon Sword and Shield-inspired curry. Now this is unlike any curry we've ever made before, and we had a ton of fun testing the recipe out with different fruits and berries to come up with this final concoction. Curries are so flexible, and that's part of the reason that we love making them on the show. They're a perfect meal that's easily reheatable and will warm you up if you're quarantined at home, and are a great source of all kinds of flavors and spices. And as always, these episodes are brought to you by our lovely patrons at patreon.com slash feastoffiction, and we shout out one lucky patron every week. So this week's episode is brought to you by... Who's that patron? It's Anaconda Kiwi! Cheers! Ooh, my goodness, I love right. curry. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. There's a spicy kick at the end. There so. is. This is interesting. What? In a good way. I, I like love it. it. No, I like it a lot. It's so unique. Mm. I never tasted a curry like this before, and my taste buds really like it. The berries add a little bit of sweetness to it. But, the apple. You know, it's a huge part of the recipe in the game to have all these different kinds of berries in there. So I think it makes sense. Yes, it makes so much sense. This shouldn't be a regular curry. This is a curry that you and your Pokemon love, right? So there's something neat to, to having an extra layer in there that makes it slightly not normal, I guess, and more appealing to something like an animal. And these berries are a great, great way to do that. I really like it a lot. Yeah, there's something about the saltiness of the sausage and the sweetness of the curry that all sort of blends together. And it has spiciness on top to get that full Charizard level of, woo! flames and a little bit of sweat in my nose. I mean, like, it literally is like one of those things that totally throws you off. Like, you take a bite and you're like, hmm. <laughs> and then it just like keeps getting better and better and better and better. It's so unique. Yeah, this is really good. This is a really unique recipe, everyone. Happy. It's totally worth trying. There's a billion curry recipes out there. We have about five on the channel. <laughs> I know, we've done so many. This is actually um, the, probably the more unique six, one. Yeah. And this one is so unique and so delish and so cool. And I love how we incorporated the elements into it. 
to give you that big Pokemon Earth, blast wind, you'll need. Water, fire, fairy, dark, light. I don't know if you That's know Captain water. Planet, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, this is delicious. My, I'm actually really feeling the heat now from the sausages and the curry. It's really nice. Yeah, the flavor profile is just so like vast. 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 Deep. Amazing. Much like the game. Huh? Much like the game and much like this book that's coming out very, very soon. It's the Feast of Fiction Kitchen, the official cookbook. You can pre-order it right now online. There will be links below. It comes out April 28th, so, so very soon. We do have a Pokemon recipe in here. We have all sorts of recipes. Let me give you a sneak peek of one you may recognize. Real Flash, right? Is it Ray Ray? Ah! Okay, it's gone. It's gone. That's it. That's all you're gonna see. If you want to yes. see more, you gotta pre-order the book. Uh, BarnesandNoble.com. Indiebound. Amazon. Uh, it's on Amazon. It's everywhere. We cannot wait to reveal this to you guys in real time. Until then, you'll have to be tempted. Yeah. By this lovely. Look, it's us on the cover. I know. So cool. So very cool. We are so excited about this, and we hope you guys are too. If you haven't already pre-ordered it, you know where you can find it. Yup. And we're also going to be taking a mini book tour, so we might be coming to a city near you in the yeah. future. So definitely make sure you subscribe and follow us on all social channels just so you can keep up with what we might be doing and where we're going next. That's right. And of course, big thanks to our Patreons at patreon.com slash fiction. They helped us make this set. They're a huge part in helping us make this book. There was a lot of hidden costs. We had to hire all sorts of people to make it happen. A food photographer, a food stylist, an art director, another uh, director of photography, and a lighting person. Not to mention Ashley doing months of testing on every single recipe in here. So our patrons were a huge part of making that happen while we were doing it. So thank you again so much to them. You can join our family as well at patreon.com slash piece of fiction. And as always, leave a comment below and let us know what you want to see us make next. Bye bye. See you later. Thank you.